Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two triangles uh, ADC and this uh, BDC put together in a bigger uh, triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this segment uh, AD is uh, equal to this segment uh, BC. This uh, segment uh, CD equal to this segment uh, BD. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, ADC is uh, 40 degrees. And this uh, angle uh, CAD is uh, represented by X. And now our task is uh, to calculate this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And here's our very first uh, concept, exterior angle uh, theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this given uh, diagram. Here we got uh, this uh, exterior angle uh, C, and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles uh, A and uh, B. So therefore we can write uh, angle C equal to angle A plus B. And here's an example. This angle outside uh, is going to be our exterior angle, and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles, uh, 50 plus 60 degrees. And if we add them, that is going to give us uh, 110 degrees. So therefore, our exterior angle is going to be 110 degrees. And now let's talk about the isosceles uh, triangle. In other words, uh, these uh, two side lengths uh, of this uh, triangle are going to be congruent. And therefore, their opposite uh, angles, uh, these angles are going to be congruent uh, as well. And now let's talk about the equilateral uh, triangle. An equilateral triangle has uh, all uh, side lengths uh, equal, all of them. Then all the angles in this uh, triangle, all these uh, interior angles are going to be congruent uh, as well. And since uh, some of the angles in any triangle is uh, 180 degrees, and since uh, all these uh, three angles are equal, so each angle is going to be 60 degrees uh, each. So therefore, all the angles uh, in an equilateral triangle uh, are uh, 60 degrees uh, each. And now let's talk about uh, straight angle uh, property. That means all this whole uh, angle is uh, 180 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, 70 degrees. Then uh, this uh, remaining uh, angle has got to be 110 degrees, such that if we add these two angles, uh, that adds up to 180 degrees. And finally, let's talk about uh, triangle sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. And here's an example. We got uh, this uh, triangle whose angles are uh, 50 degrees, uh, 60 degrees, and uh, 70 degrees. And if we add all these three angles, they add up to 180 degrees. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, BDC. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle. This, uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be equal to this angle. Let me call this angle uh, alpha. Then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And now let's recall exterior angle theorem once again. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles. As you can see in this uh, given diagram, this angle is uh, C, which is our uh, exterior angle, and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles uh, A and B. So therefore, in our case, we can see that this uh, 40 degrees is our exterior angle, and that is going to be equal to alpha plus alpha, our two opposite interior angles. So I can write angle alpha plus angle alpha equals to 40 degrees. So that means uh, two alpha is going to be 40 degrees. So that means alpha turns out to be 20 degrees. So therefore, uh, these two opposite interior angles uh, turn out to be 20 degrees each. And now, here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, straight angle, uh, which is whole. This angle is uh, 180 degrees. 
and we know that this part of the angle is uh, 40 degrees so therefore uh, this remaining angle uh, has got to be 140 degrees and now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, BDC and let's make an observation we can see that this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, equal to this uh, segment uh, AD so therefore we are going to think uh, outside the box so therefore I have transported uh, this uh, triangle uh, BDC over here as you can see such that uh, this uh, point uh, D becomes uh, D prime this uh, C becomes uh, C prime over here and this uh, B becomes uh, B prime and this uh, 140 degree angle uh, is same as uh, this uh, 140 degrees and likewise uh, these angles are going to be 20 degrees each as you can see over here and here's our next step let's uh, add these uh, two angles 20 degrees uh, plus 40 degrees is going to give us uh, 60 degrees and now I have connected uh, these points uh, C and uh, D prime such that uh, we got uh, this uh, triangle uh, B prime uh, D prime uh, C and now we can see that this uh, triangle is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this uh, side length uh, equal to this side length and we know that this angle uh, is 60 degrees uh, so therefore these two remaining angles uh, that is going to be 60 degrees uh, each this angle 60 degrees and this uh, angle uh, is going to be 60 degrees uh, as well and now we can see all these uh, three angles are uh, 60 degrees uh, each so therefore this is an equilateral uh, triangle that means uh, all uh, three side lengths are equal so that means uh, this side length uh, this side length uh, and this side length uh, are equal and now let's make an observation we know that this is a uh, 140 degrees uh, and this is uh, 60 degrees so this uh, remaining angle has got to be 80 degrees and now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, D prime C prime C and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length so therefore uh, this uh, angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle we know this uh, angle is uh, 80 degrees so therefore these uh, two remaining angles since they are congruent uh, this is going to be 50 degrees uh, and this angle is going to be 50 degrees uh, as well so therefore let's make an observation that means the sum of these uh, two angles x plus 20 degrees uh, turns out to be equal to 50 degrees so therefore I can write uh, x plus uh, 20 degrees uh, is going to be equal to 50 degrees let's go ahead and subtract uh, 20 degrees from both sides to isolate uh, angle x this is gone so therefore uh, our angle uh, x uh, turns out to be 30 degrees so therefore after all the manipulation and calculations uh, our angle uh, x turns out to be 30 degrees and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye